take it and you go about your business because you can't get the two dollars back My name is Jay Kwan. If you are a brand new subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already done know. Thank you for your loyalty. Yeah. <laughs> Today's story time is going to be about the time this man tried to fight me over $2. $2, fam. $2. One, two. $2. One plus one equals two. $2. Okay, we're going to try that again because I messed up. So yeah, so I work downtown Toronto, okay, at one of uh, one of Canada's largest malls. One of, it's not the largest, but one of. And it's the largest mall in Toronto and in Ontario of Canada, okay? So I'm working in the mall. This mall pulls a lot of different crowds. It's the busiest mall in Toronto, but it also pulls a lot of different crowds. It pulls buck teas, it pulls people undesirables. Um, if you don't know what a buck tea is, a buck tea is somebody that um, doesn't necessarily act right or in in the public or what society would say. Sometimes they call a homeless person a buck tea, but somebody who doesn't act proper, like they just act very reckless, careless, um, don't really care type of vibe. So. This buck tea, that's the best way for me to explain it. So I'm working cash now at this store. I can't say the store because I still work there. So I'm working cash for this store now. The guy comes up to my cash. And I saw by the way he looked, he was about to give trouble. I could tell by the way he looked. You know those ones where you just got a gut feeling that they're about to give trouble? Yeah, that's what I was feeling that I was about to get. So I'm here stalling with the customer that's in front of me and trying not to get this guy. But I didn't stall hard enough because everybody, all the other cashiers were stalling too so that they didn't catch the man. So I ended up with the man. I say next, the man comes down. The man puts down a windbreaker jacket. The windbreaker jacket is about 30% off bring it down don't watch my math okay it was around 30 percent off i think 30 or 40 percent off brings the jacket down to around i know it was around the 25 area okay with tax came to 27 dollars yeah came to thir uh th 27 dollars so it came down to 27 dollars and the man says, yo, I don't have enough. Like, I don't have enough. And I'm just like, well, damn, like, there's nothing I can do. Like, I really can't do anything for you. I really can't do anything for you. So I'm sitting here and I'm just like, you know what? Let me do this man a little good deed. Let me do my good deed of the day, the good deed of the week. Like, let me just help this man out as a child of God. You know, let me just look out. Because if that was me, I'd want somebody to look out for me, right? So I said, let me look out for the man. So we had a sale that was going on online where if you signed up for some app, you got $5. So his app, his phone wasn't working, so it wouldn't allow him to sign up for the $5. So I said, okay, bet. It's okay. I'll just do it for you out of the kindness of my heart because you're supposed to get a code. But he couldn't, it wasn't working on his phone and it wasn't the app. It was his phone not working. So I said, it's okay. Don't worry. It's fine. I'll just do it for you. This one time, I'll take the $5 off. Keep in mind, this man was begging me, begging me, begging me, begging me, begging me, begging me, begging me. And I'm just like, okay. You know what? I'll just do it. So I do it for the man. Take five dollars off. So it was like twenty-seven minus five dollars. I think it came down to like twenty-two, twenty-three around there. Okay. So now the man pulls out fifteen dollars and says he still doesn't have enough. I said, "Sir, sir, I just did you a favor." Okay, I cannot take off any more for you. He's like, can you call the manager? Call the manager. Can you call the manager? I said, no, sir. I cannot call the manager for you to come and take money off because we can't take money off for you. We already, I can't accept $15 and the product is that. So I, you know what? He kept bawling with me. He kept asking me, asking me, asking me, asking me, asking me. And I got annoyed. So I said, okay, I call the manager over. And the manager is just like, yeah, no, I can't do that for you because then our till is going to be short at the end of the night. And yeah, so I can't do that for you. Same shit that I said, she said too. So after that, the man pulls out the right amount of money. So I was like, you're really trying to scam me, eh? You trying to scam me? You can't scam a scammer, fam. You can't, yo, not even that. You can't scam a Jamaican, okay? We Jamaicans know about scam. So you can't scam a Jamaican, I'm telling you now. So we're there and the man pulls out the right amount of money, OK? 
okay? So I bag it up for him. It was a windbreaker jacket. I bag it up for him, circle the receipt, tell the man the receipt, the, um, what is it called, the return policy, that it's not returnable, and re, 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 okay? The man leaves, bet. So how this system works with this store is that when you are doing discounts, you can stack discounts, but sometimes the computer will only let you go for so far in stacking. So if it's if you go too far, it will stop you. It will not necessarily I want to say stop you, but like if you were supposed to get 10% off and you already got 40, sometimes it won't take the full 10%. It will only take like 5%. So it'll only take 5%, so it'll be like 55% off instead of 60% um, off. So with this man's receipt, the man came back and he's like, hey, um, when I did the calculations with the $5 off that you took off, it should have came down to this amount, okay? And I calculated for him and I'm like, um, okay, you're right, it should. So I didn't tell him that he was right, okay? Because I had to be careful, okay? So I was like, oh yeah, you're right. So I'm just like, shit. So now I'm in shit because I just gave this man a discount and I'm not supposed to do that without the code in the computer, okay? Like that's a big mess up. I gave the man a code without the, in the, without the code in the computer. So it's gonna look bad on me. So thank God the manager that likes me was working. So I call her over and I tell her that like, oh, like da 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 and I have her work it out. And she realizes the same thing but we have a no return policy. So we explained to the man, unfortunately, that the computer is automatic and it does the, pardon me. It does, pardon me. It does the um, discounts automatically, so there's nothing we can do. It only will let you go so far with the amount of discounts you can get. So we explained that to the man and it's a $2 difference, okay? So we owe the man $2, $2, one, two, $2. One plus one equals two. Okay? That's not even a patty. You can't even get a Jamaican patty with $2 down here, okay? It's $2.10 plus tax for a patty. So $2.22 or $2.25 for a patty. So you can't even get a patty. So the man's here arguing with me and he's just like, yo, like, it's supposed to be this and it's supposed to be that. And we say, sir, unfortunately, like, we really can't do it for you. That's as far as the computer will let us go with your discounts. There's nothing else we can do. So then um, they, he leaves and he says, okay. Then he comes back, okay? Keep in mind, our line is wrapping around, okay? I got people that need to be going through. There's only three of us on cash, okay? And as the time is going by, our cash is also getting, the small amount of people are on cash because it's coming up to the end of the night. So this man is still around. This man comes back and he's still on the same thing. Sir, I'm telling you the same shit. So we, I tell the man, I said, so it's either we can return it for you and we can give you back your full money but he's like, oh, but I want the jacket. Like, I need the jacket. Like, I want the jacket. Well, I said, sir, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. Your phone was not working. I did you a favor in taking off the $5 for you since your phone was not working. I did the kindness out of my heart. I did that for you. So unfortunately, the discount only let you go so far. It didn't take the full five. It took three and... It didn't do it. It didn't take the full thing. It didn't want to. I don't know what you want me to tell you. So I keep telling the man, I tell the man, I tell the man. The man leaves again. And he, he says, okay, it's okay. So he leaves again. Tell me why the man comes back again. Huh? What am I, what are you coming back for? So this time I start to get angry, yo, because you're, first of all, you're making me look bad in front of my manager, first of all, because I did you a favor that I'm not supposed to do, okay? So technically, if you guys know these managers out here, if she really wanted to be snake, she could report me to the store manager and I could have lost my job because somebody else already got fired overdoing this thing, okay? So this man's wilding up, this man's wilding up, he's still going on, he's still going on. This time we call security, okay? And this man's starting to hurt me because he's saying the same stuff over and over and I'm saying the same stuff over and over. My manager's saying the same stuff over and over and he doesn't want us to return the product because we're willing to return it for you. You can get your full money back, but we cannot process it for you and give you back your $2. We can't. The system will not allow it or else it's going to show in the system that there was a $2, um, what is it called? That there was a that the, the till is gonna be short two dollars, so it's not gonna work. Plus, the system allowed you to go as far as you could with the discount. So the man comes back now, and I get upset. So when the man comes up, I said, Look here, let me tell you something. 
I said it just like this, okay? Because when I'm mad, my voice changes, okay? Like, it changes. Like, I feel like sometimes I'm not even speaking English. I'm speaking straight, like, Jamaican. I reach over the counter like this, like, my hands over the counter, and I said, let me tell you something, okay? Let me tell you something. I did this out of my kindness on my heart. I took $5 off you because you said you couldn't afford it. You said you couldn't afford it, so I took $5 off you so that your, your total would be less. The computer didn't take the rest of the money. Unfortunately, it was because of the stock discount. But I'm telling you right now, it's either you can return the product and you can leave, or you take the you take it and you go about your business because you can't get the two dollars back. So I don't know what you're arguing about because you're not gonna get it back. And security is right there, and my manager is right there while I'm cussing out the man. And I said, you're gonna leave. I don't know why you keep coming back, coming back, coming back. So I did you a favor. So how about you give us back the product, okay, that you couldn't afford? right you couldn't afford it right i told him just like that i was yo i was airing out this man's business in front of everybody i was like since you couldn't afford it right how about you return the product and i take back the five dollars and you don't get a five dollar discount at all and you can just keep the original price that you couldn't afford already right but you could afford because this man had money in his bag the man had money in his bag so what were you doing the man just didn't want to pay full price. He thought he could scam his way through. The man did have the money. The man just didn't want to pay the money. So the security man sees that everybody's getting mad, okay? Yeah, my camera keeps cutting out, so I'm just going to end this story, like, here. But, um, so pretty much, we tell the man, so it's either you take the jacket and go without your $2 or you leave. And we call security. Security comes. He's security he's still arguing in, in front of security. Security gives him $2 and says, leave the store. Leave the store. A few days later, I see the two guys once again downtown because I work downtown, right? So I work and live downtown. So I, this is a popular station that I go to all the time. This is my closest mall. So this is where I go to. So um, I see the man in the train station and I purposely walked a long way and passed the man and I look him up and down and he knew who I was. And I was just like, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> You embarrassed yourself for no reason when you had the money in your bank account. You had the money to pay for it. You're fighting over $2. I did that. You weren't even supposed to have technically because the jacket was supposed to be more expensive. It was a waste of time, waste of energy. There was no point. But anyways. Okay, my camera is being annoying. I have to film this on Snapchat to say my outro. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Why not touch, girl? Why not touch? Me, me like to brace on it. Me like to brace on it. Brace on it. I'm a